Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. We live in a pluralistic society. Our diversity makes us strong. You've heard these lies, disguised as social progress. Strength does not come from division, but from unity. Yet both these moronic statements from the left deny that common sense principle. Are there some benefits to seeing things from different points of view? Sure, of course there are. Is there some merit to including varying points of view? Certainly. But at some point, the differences must be put aside, not celebrated. And achieving the goal must now become the mission. Successful militaries, armies, don't operate on these stupid notions of equality. That's why there are ranks in the military. In fact, Nothing successful functions on these idiotic principles from the left, and that includes mostly the left itself. The left has no more interest in diversity than the man in the moon. And this is proven on its face alone as the left pursues its monolithic, completely unified goal of moral and political hegemony, its nonstop march to use governments to produce a global government where no one will even be able to spell the word diversity. The left, meaning socialists, uses the facade of diversity to break down the monolith of Catholic morality. Then, once it has smashed Catholicism into a million tiny pieces, talk about diversity, in the name of diversity, it will then reassemble it into a single unified tool for destroying the faith. You see examples of socialist hypocrisy everywhere. Look at the recent Women's March, for example, after President Trump's inauguration. It was all about women until pro-life women showed up. Then suddenly, diversity no longer mattered. Same thing with the Democratic Party, all about diversity until those who believe in sexual morality regarding contraception, same-sex marriage, and divorce started speaking. They got shown the door, and look, all this is fine, just don't pretend you're trumpeting one cause or set of principles when you're actually just using that to fool people. And once you have achieved your ends by deceit, you will turn around and do the very thing you had previously condemned. If you haven't noticed, the same tactic is employed by socialists in the church. Like their political counterparts, they too go on about diversity and so forth, but be the Catholic who brings up the desire to kneel for Holy Communion, or for Gregorian chant to be, to be replacing the guitars, or for altar boys to be much more visible again, and see what happens. The Catholic packaging of the diversity message is, all are welcome, which is of course a total and complete lie. No, all are not welcome. Try walking into St. Francis of Assisi Franciscan Parish in Manhattan and saying out loud the church's teachings on homosexuality need to be preached. You will not be welcome, trust me. A couple of years ago, a couple of older effeminate men tried to block my way into that church, telling me out loud I was not welcome. Of course, the great irony is that the all are welcome sign was just about 20 feet away from our little you are not welcome here spat. And if you think ideological confrontations will shake the fake diversity tree in the church, try approaching the granddaddy of all issues, the social justice canard. Absolutely no dissent whatsoever is allowed on this topic because it involves hundreds of millions of dollars from the federal government going to the bishops' conference. Social justice is the sacred cow of most of the U.S. bishops and one that they have sacrificed the teachings of the church for. At least they're getting more money than Judas did, but they're playing the same game. For close to 100 years now, the Catholic Church has been being co-opted by socialist forces who have gradually set about to debase her liturgy, confound her teachings, confuse the faithful, and diminish her influence. The aims of the earthly agents have been to invade her and use her institutions to bring about a globalist agenda where there is no room or place for God. The aims of the diabolical agents, who are really running the show and have the human agents as their useful idiots, is to simply destroy the church so salvation would be impossible. This is the fight that Church Militant is involved in every day to expose this terror, this evil, disguising itself as a common good, and then teach the truth of the glory and the majesty of the Catholic faith. 
This is why we've produced a thousand hours of Catholic video content, 100% faithful to the Magisterium. It's why we're asking you to sign up to become a premium member so you can gain access to all this material, all this programming, and be more prepared to battle these incredibly dark forces. Catholics have the sacred duty to evangelize the world. It was the last command our blessed Lord gave us as he ascended to heaven. This is the one true faith, and there is no other church. Outside this church, salvation is not possible. But like the Ethiopian said to Philip the deacon in the book of Acts, how can he know if someone doesn't tell him? And how can someone tell another if they don't know or know sufficiently themselves? In addition to the philosophical maxim we mentioned earlier this week, that you can't love what you don't know, there's another maxim which bears just as much consideration. You can't give what you don't have. We are commanded to give people the faith. That means we need to know the faith. We have to have it intimately. We need to love the faith deeply. This is why our Church Militant Premium channel exists and why we are always pointing people to sign up for it. It's just $10 a month, less than the price of a cup of coffee each week. We need to invest in the life of knowledge, the life of the intellect, of the faith. The greatest thoughts of human history are contained in the teachings and devotions and writings of the Catholic Church. And yes, that includes the Bible as well, a 100% Catholic canon compiled by the Church. So please, sign up for a premium subscription today. Learn more about the faith so you can be more in love with the faith. All you have to do is just click on the link and sign up. You won't be disappointed. You'll be thrilled, and you will see your love for Holy Mother Church actually deepening. Don't believe the idiocy of the pluralism argument. Truth is one, not diverse. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.